Hello, you lovely lot. Welcome to Sonic Song Calls. Yes, we are here on YouTube. And yes, this is a channel of Heart Awakening, of Ascension, and much more. Coming into your uniqueness. But it's also about the bridge of sound, the bridge of energy, and the bridge of language that truly takes us where we are going into new earth and to shift into homo luminous. So usually I bring an update somewhere at the beginning of a month and today I'm feeling pushed in a nice way to bring you an update in between. It was always clear that April is kind of a special month and we have all gone through this solar eclipse in whatever way it came to you and it is very clear the solar eclipse has much more than just that moment. And the solar eclipse carries actually a lot of energies that are still with us. Apart from being a really good invitation to continue the healing, which is part of it, I want to talk more about the power of this eclipse. Then I want to take you into the conjunction Uranus and Jupiter. Again, remember, I'm not an astrologer. I'm reading the signs and I'm here to translate and transpose so we can truly ride that wave and actually see how it works for us. And finally, I want to let you know what has changed for us in that whole energy because it is an energy of dying to the old and coming into the new. And so we feel it. And so let me start. Yes, for me, this upgrade of the solar eclipse is carrying on. And it is interesting, and I've written a blog about it that I will put in the description as well as some astrology for you to understand that even deeper. For me, this is a lot about power. And it's not about power over, because this is obviously the paradigm that is falling apart. The power that we are experiencing now is actually the power to upgrade, the power to embrace our uniqueness. And that can go as far as sovereignty, of being sovereign in who we are. It is in that upgrade, so the power to upgrade, the power to go out of what we did maybe for a very long time into our uniqueness is actually the key to this new collective consciousness, to this new collective being that we're all experiencing. So the second part is the power for, and the power is actually for us. It's for the new earth, it's for this new energy, it's for the homo luminous that we are all becoming that, as you know, I talk about a lot. It's also the power with, because as I'm saying, in this uniqueness, we actually find the unifying field. Our uniqueness is the key for us to unify. It's the key for us to come together and to raise that collective consciousness and vibration together. So yes, while the solar eclipse before and after, has created that, but there's such, such much, so much more for us to really explore and to, to realize, I want to say. And so finally, we're breaking a lot. And this comes more now on the 20th as well. And we also have, of course, the power of, and I want to relate that to my blog, The Power of Choice. So in that, these are all the kind of reminiscences and the ripples of the solar eclipse. We're learning about our power, our power to, our power with, our power of, our power for. And we're letting go that control that we have to. It's not just that we may be, our, no, we may be controlled, we're controlling ourselves. And I feel all of this is going. And so it's very important that we continue to address all these new levels of power for ourselves and the power with.
to be in this together. So this is kind of the ripples of the solar eclipse. And on the 20th or 21st, depending where we are at on this planet, we're coming into a conjunction of Jupiter and Uranus. This is kind of unusual. The last time they were in conjunction was in 2011, and then it was in Pisces. It's not so important for me and for you, possibly. What is the exact astrological meaning? The meaning for me is more like what we're going to do with it. What is actually going to happen? And it's not about predicting. It's about being part of this evolution. And things are really breaking apart. If you're not waking up now, you're not waking up, I feel. And we see that with our clients. We see that with the work that we do. Uranus has already started to really shake it up. And this is also the spirit of this whole year. But now this conjunction for me is extremely powerful. Again, it has a lot to do with power. And it has also to do a lot with the power that we let go but at the same time, the power that we claim. So that waking up, that shaking up, that expansion that we are receiving, not just, as I said, on the day, but around that time. What are we going to do with it? This is all about truth as well. So not only that the truth comes out and the light is shone into the truth, but our own truth. And this particular conjunction is also in Taurus. And the last time that happened was in 1941. Whatever that may mean to you or whatever it brings up for you. For me, it's about letting go a lot of the fixed things that we have in life. Taurus is a wonderful sign. Obviously, my beloved is a Taurus that's the birth sign, that the birth date coming up soon. But of course, Taurus can also be very fixed and holding on to values. And this time we're actually inviting to let go. We are shaken, we are awakening. And for me, of course, because we're in heart awakening, it's a lot about awakening to the heart. So there's so much going on. It's maybe one of the most powerful events, taking us out of duality and polarities and all this kind of stuff. And so it's very important that we actually flow with that. And I want to give you just a little bit of a bridge as a sound bridge into all of these beautiful energies and frequencies that are available to us. So that, that shaking up and that awakening while it's powerful and chaotic and all this kind of stuff is kind of finding you in harmony. Because what this is all about is really that we come back into harmony. That we can't harm because we are so in tune and in harmony with self, with this planet, with nature and with the whole cosmos. So for me, the shaking up is a lot about coming back into that power of harmony but also coming back into the heart and love. And I don't mean love as the feeling, that sometimes is very nice, but love as the energy, as the highest frequency of this cosmos. This love I'm referring to, the frequency, the energy, the dimensions, the consciousness that is love. When we truly live in this, and this for me is the shake-up that changes also our values, this is when we truly, truly, truly can feel love. So feeling love is just an outcome. And yes, it also affects, of course, our relationships. First is always self-relationships with self, and of course with our beloveds, with the planet, with this world and with all that's going on. So we are invited to come into our power. And so let me play a little bit, as I said, as a sound bridge to, to fully immerse in this amazing shakeup and awakening into our power, into our uniqueness and into the truth.
Of course, there's much more to it, but um, I'm here to give you just a little bit of taste. And so, what has been shaken and awakening in our world? Well, we became very clear about our fields. And as you know, we've been tiptoeing around. And in addition, we also got shaken up because we were so excited and hoping for this evolutionary leadership retreat in Jamaica. I remember the date one more time and then I just gonna let it go. May 30th till June 2nd, we wanted to be there and do this amazing retreat with two wonderful friends. And we have decided not to do it. Not enough bookings, it just didn't flow. Instead, we will be offering some webinars, workshops, whatever we want to call it, on the topics that we had originally. So if you're interested in that, over the next couple of days, I will bring you an update and you can be part of that. And yes, it is for payment. And so let's see how this is unfolding. So this is also that letting go of these values and of this unfolding, breaking those paradigms, breaking whatever needs to be broken and awakening. However, we are very clear about our own retreat. So just Ceci and myself that we are definitely holding and we are definitely going to be longer here in beautiful Lamas in Peru. And definitely we want to run two or three of these hard fire retreats with you. And so if Peru is on your, on your list or if you just wanna jump on a flight to come to Peru, Lima, Tarapoto that brings you almost to Lamas. And by the time you get here, I'm sure we'll pick you up and make sure that we're having a lot of fun together. So rekindle your heart fire. To be honest with you, I had no idea what that meant when it came to me. It came to me as I heard that in our Aboriginal language, the word for heart and fire is the same. This is where it came from. Then, I received the message that there are four levels of that heart fire. And now I am clear it is a retreat journey to self. So the different ways of self that we are experiencing, changing our values, breaking the old, awakening. We don't know what your heart fire expresses, but we know that it has to do with healing and transformation. It has to do with rebirthing your passion and your seal and your cest and your sing. It has to do with love and it has to do with how we manifest and create that we know. That we all do that uniquely, we also know. So these four days with four people each time, first here in Peru, will actually take you there. Take you to your uniqueness of your heart fire. So this is really, really exciting. And so the self will of course be transpersonal, true self, relational self, collective self, unique self. So we are excited because we are not predicting who you are. We're just bringing you nature immersions and other things to, to find you. So, and because we have a very clear instruction about this, it's a retreat journey. So it starts with four days together. Then we are going to be together in a way for, four, for 33 days because you're gonna have a map how to really nurture and perpetuate your fire. And then we have a masterclass at the end of the 33 days with each participant. And at the end of the year, we do a gathering with all people who have joined the Heart Fire Retreat. So yes, this, this is very exciting. And this is breaking a lot. Yes, we are kind of the masters of unlearning and all of this, but this is a whole new dimension. So very excited to be with you. Remember, it's for four individual people or for two couples, but always with four people. The accommodation here, at Anacaspi is a double room and a room with two single beds. So 
just in case that is something that you need to know. So we're going to start with that. And of course, I will be writing more and will share more with you. And Ceci makes it pretty as always. Um, but yes, we are definitely on that journey. And we're going to be very happy, obviously, to have you with us on the heart fire. And secondly, we are really on our reconnect to the heart. As you are maybe aware, we have the program and we have the first people on. But the idea is, of course, to have more of you on reconnect to the heart. And reconnect to the heart, funny, we did it early this year, is right spot on. It's discovering your truth within. It's all about the journey within. But of course, how do you live it? This is the main thing. So it's not about being in the heart and being separated. It's about being in the heart and living. And so reconnect to the heart. This program is really a one-on-one, -on -one, a 101, an essential for all of us who are here at this time, consciously knowing we are on, a, on an ascension, we are awakening to the heart, we are here to start living from the heart, this is the program. And in case you don't know, while it is online and there's a lot of self-paced and self-study and all of that, it has a lot of interaction with us, feedback, personal and all that kind of stuff. So. We're very keen to see you. And we are very keen to explore together with you what it truly means to go within, what it truly means to reconnect to the power, the power to, the power with, the power for, and the power. Now I forgot the third one. This is very interesting. I should remember this so easily. I almost did a PhD on that, right? So the power to, the power for, the power with, and the power of. So, if you're still here at this time, thank you so much. Links are in the, in the description, and thank you for your patience. And so much love from my heart 